Hello everyone, welcome back on the series of TSP TMS 30F2835. In this module, we are going to introduce you on general purpose input output units, GPI units. So the objective of this modules will be as follows. First, we will see the introduction of GPIO pins. After that, we will see how all the peripheral registers of ADC, DAC, GPIO, etc. are grouped together into the data memory. Later, we will look at the architecture of single GPIO pin. Further, we will see grouping of GPIO pin. At the last, we will look at the pin assignment. That means how to use a pin as a different purpose. For example, ADC, input output, PWM, and DAC. So, this is the first integrated peripherals of 2833X. The device has not only a 32 bit processor core, but also all the peripherals units to build a single chip control system. These integrated peripherals give the F2833X an important advantage over other peripherals. So, GPIO is the simplest peripherals among all. Peripheral units are memory mapped into data memory space. That means we can control peripheral unit by accessing dedicated data memory address. So, how the memory address looks like? So this is the architecture of memory map of F2833X. So all the peripheral frames are grouped together known as peripheral frame units. So peripheral frame 0, peripheral frame 1, 2 as well as in 3. So peripheral frames contain the peripheral frame 0 contains pi, flash, DMA, timer, ADC. So as you can see, so all the peripheral frames are grouped into the different contains different peripheral registers. So instead of some of the areas is the password protected as you can see here in this memory map some of the areas are password protected why the password protection is required to prevent the reverse engineering so this is the memory map of F2833X the device F2833X has a 88 GPIO pins all are grouped into the three port, port A, port B and port C. So now the uh, question is all the 88 GPIO pins are act as a input output pin or it can be used for the different purpose. So the answer is uh, it can be used as a different purpose. So it can be used as a general purpose input output pins or it can be connected to a peripheral 1, 2 and 3. So how to connect all uh, as a peripheral uh, as single pin to um, as a GPIO pins or peripheral 1, peripheral 2 and peripheral 3 so by using the MUX control bit registers we can connect uh, the single pin into the different peripherals frame different purpose so this is decided by the program how uh, or what purpose you want to use that pin so the block diagram as you can see here this is the block diagram of the single pin single pin of the device it consists of the several Mm, register sets as you can see here input qualification uh, pull up registers data registers direction registers and max control bit registers so the input qualification register is used to remove the noise from the signals the pull up registers is used to uh, keep the uh, values at the high impedance state the GP direction register will indicate that pin that you want to use as an input pins as an output pin and the MUX control bit register will indicate, will show you that pins you want to use as a GPIO pin or you can connect the pins for the different purpose. And if you want to write, uh, read and write from um, on the registers, so you, you have to use the data registers, we further divide it into the three control set of registers, G control sets of registers, uh, set register, clear register and toggle register. So uh, the single pin can be used for the different purpose by using the control sets of registers. Now suppose you want to use uh, the different set of registers, you want to use a particular pin. So how, how to use that pin? So we have a total. 88 input out 88 pins all are divided into the three port port a port b and port c so now you want to use uh, the 51 number of pin that is related to port b and you can use the 
34 pins that is related to MUX1 of the port B. So, uh, suppose you want to use 51 number of pin that is related to MUX2 of port B and you want to clear that bit how to use that bit so we have to use GPIO data register dot bit sorry GPIO data register dot GPB max two sorry GPB clear dot bit dot GPIO fifty two equals to you want to clear so you have to use one So suppose you want to use uh, all the pins as a input output pins. So all the pins in the port A or 0 to 15 number of pin you want to use a uh, input output pin. So how will you use that pin? We will use GPIO control registers dot GPA max 1 dot all equals to zero or you can use the pin number 10 as a uh, input output pin so you can use gpio control register dot gpa max1 dot bit dot gpio 10 equals to zero so you can use G instead of zero to one to use for the different purpose to use uh, the 10 number pin as a EPWM pin you can use uh, 0 in, uh, instead uh, you can use 1 instead of 0 to use all the pins as a EPWM pins so how to select the, uh, the pin uh, will be act as a GPIO pins the pin will be act as a EPWM pin so we will see the uh, table uh, in the next slides so as you can see here uh, if we are giving the multiplex registers 0 0 so all the pins will be act as a uh, GPIO pins if we are giving GPIO uh, max 1 GPA max 1 bit equals to 0 1 so that will be act as a EP, uh, WM pin, EPWM pin and uh, uh, if we are giving the GPA max 2 as a 0 1 so that can be used for the different purpose uh, it is as shown here so all the pins uh, are used for the different purpose if you are give, uh, selecting the multiplex register as 0, 0, 0, 001, 1, 0, and 1, 1 respectively. So this is the control uh, GPIO set multiplex registers. So uh, like this we can select all the pins as a input output pins we can select all uh, as a for the different applications and if you want to uh, use in the programming or you you want to use all the pins as some of the pin as a input output pin some of the pins as a uh, ADC pin uh, EPWM pin and DAC pin so you can uh, select the uh, multiplex registers and you can uh, clear the register you can uh, define that you want to use as an input pin you want to use as output pin etc so all the programming we will do in the next uh, next lecture uh, basic programming and we will learn we will see the uh, in the detail about uh, each and every registers used uh, in the gpio uh, gpio input output registers so if you have any doubt you can uh, comment me on the comment sections and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you